Geek Denites, what's poppin'? It's Adonis, we are back, and today we're talking about the Mac Mini. I've been now using it for about 13 hours. Uh, it dropped here today in Australia. So this is the base model Mac Mini, and I wanted to do some preliminary benchmarks. Right now I'm still in the process of doing tests with video rendering through Final Cut Pro 10 and DaVinci Resolve with different types of files and camera uh, workflows. So uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because that video will be coming out shortly after this one. But this one we're primarily talking about the benchmarks what that actually looks like. And I'm going to be benchmark comparison my 10 core iMac Pro that I do all of my work off of from day to day. So you guys can kind of get an idea what the base model, the entry level M1 Mac mini can actually do. So let's get into it. Now there is a reason why I decided to go with the entry level Mac mini with the eight gigabytes of RAM instead of 16 gigabytes. And that's primarily because it's the entry level. I wanted to approach it as if all I had was enough to buy the machine and what could I do with it? And with that being said, the benchmarks for this computer are really interesting and it tells a lot about kind of the scalability of what Apple could potentially do with higher power machines in the future. Now, starting with the Geekbench, this is super interesting. A lot of you guys have already seen some of the leaks, but my particular Mac mini got a single core score of 1734. Now to put that into context, my iMac Pro, my 10 core iMac Pro single core score is 1037. Just, just wrap, wrap this whole, wrap your head. Just wrap your head around it, wrap it around. That's kind of wild. Like that's kind of, that's kind of crazy. But we're not out of crazy town yet. We're not out of crazy town. The multi-core score is 7,684. This is the entry level Mac Mini. Now my 10 core iMac Pro scored a 9,597. Now while that may sound not very far off from the eight core that we're looking at in the baseline Mac Mini, what's surprising to me is what's gonna happen when Apple decides to do a 10 core that doesn't necessarily have to be a low powered scenario or no efficiency cores, just pure, pure performance cores. Like what does that look like? This is so interesting. The next is Cinebench R23, another CPU test. And this one is a lot of on-screen stuff. And visually, I really wish I, I should have screen recorded it, but it doesn't really matter. What does matter is the scores of this. Uh, and it was, it was a pretty big difference. Now, what we did find out in this is according to Cinebench R23, and again, that's just the software reading the hardware. Now, maybe if it's optimized, I might read it a little bit better, but it's showing that it has eight cores but no additional threads. Now I'm not 100% sure if that's what's leading to the performance advantage that the 10 core has, because it does seem pretty substantial. Um, but let me know if you guys have more knowledge in the processor thread space, the hyper threading space, or have a reference to another creator that has more knowledge on that, let us know, link it in the comments down below. So the multi-core score of the Mac mini was 7,776, as opposed to the iMac scoring around 11,700. It's a big difference. Again, I think that may have a lot to do with the multiple threads that it has versus just the pure core count. But then back to the single core performance, the M1 again takes the W with a 1519 score versus 1057 on the iMac Pro. Now, as far as the graphics side of things, I did try to use the Unigen Heaven benchmark. It was a little wonky though, just to be completely upfront with you guys on the Mac mini. Sometimes it was running fine. The other times the screen was completely black. It wasn't really showing anything on the display. So I'm not 100% sure if we can rely on the numbers that we're getting here. However, with that being said, if the numbers hold up, it's pretty impressive. Again, I don't know if these things are true. This is just what I grabbed once I did the test. The end result was this. 103.2 frames a second, a 25.99 score. Minimum FPS was 59.5 and a max of 232. This is on a baseline Mac mini. And in comparison to the iMac Pro, which scored a 75.4, 1899 score with a minimum of 37.1 and a max of 169.8. That this is that's a big difference. 
Now, again, I do want to stress it wasn't working as normal. So I don't know how that affected the performance. I don't know how that affected the score results at the end. So maybe a handful of salt, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not a grain, but a handful. Uh, just take that for what it is at the moment. And if you guys at a later time find out more information about this or have, you know, maybe it's updated when you see this and can put the, you know, actual scores in, let us know in the comment section. So I do want to know your guys' thoughts on these numbers. Do they mean anything to you? Are you surprised? Are you not surprised? One thing that I have noticed since I've been testing it for the past 12 hours is how quiet this thing is. It is silent and it's cold to the touch. It has not got hot at all. You don't hear any fan noise at all. Um, and right now it's rendering uh, HLG footage right now and it's it's quiet, it's just silent in here. What you may hear is my air conditioning behind you up there. So yeah, it's super quiet, which is really strange. But again, I'll get to you guys, uh, I'll get that video to you guys as soon as possible. I just wanted to get this out for you guys early on and then we'll knock this out and upload that as well. So stay tuned for those videos if you guys don't wanna miss that. And again, consider subscribing if you guys like my content here or have anything you want me to test out on this machine because I will be testing out some of the iPhone and iPad apps on here as well to see if they work, how they work. One thing that I did notice is that social media apps that use your camera primarily aren't on there. So Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok are not on the app store. Um, so I'm not sure why or how that is, uh, but other things like Facebook is. So not sure how that works, but just want to give you guys an update on those things. But let me know other things you want me to cover on the M1 Mac mini. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then. Stay